Hello and welcome to the Salon Business Breakthrough Podcast with me, Samuel Chapman. In today's episode, I am going to be talking about how you can create a winning team so that your team can benefit, so that your salon clients can benefit, and also making sure that you benefit too. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Salon Business Breakthrough Podcast, where I, Samuel Chapman, invite you on a transformative journey. With over 18 years of experience, I've walked the floors of small independent salons and prestigious high street businesses, ultimately carving my path as a successful multi-salon business owner. Now I'm here to share the wisdom I've gained along the way, ensuring you steer clear of the common pitfalls that hinder the growth of countless hair and beauty businesses. Get ready to unlock your full potential and achieve huge success as I equip you with game-changing strategies. We'll dive deep into the art of building a bigger, more sustainable salon business for talented freelancers as well as driven salon owners. Together, we'll unravel the secrets of effective client attraction methods, master the art of money management, nurture a harmonious team, and harness the power of a winning mindset. It's time to revolutionize your approach and unleash your salon's true potential. Welcome to another exciting episode of the Salon Business Breakthrough Podcast. I'm your host, Samuel Chapman, and in today's episode, we are going to dive into the secrets of creating a winning team for your salon. We are going to look at how boosting your team morale will help you to maximize productivity and attract more dream clients. So grab a pen and paper and get ready to take some notes. And if you haven't got a pen and paper, click beneath this episode and you will find that I've attached a workbook for you. Underneath every single episode that I do, there will be a workbook attached so that you can take away the key elements from that episode and that you can then put that into play into your salon business. Before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's take a moment to talk about why creating a winning team is crucial for your salon success. Your team members are the heartbeat of your salon business. From your manager through to any apprentices or helpers that you might employ, they are the ones who interact with your salon's clients. They are the ones who provide exceptional services And they are the ones who ultimately contribute to the overall guest experience on a daily basis. When you have got a team that works together, it not only boosts morale, but it also helps to retain staff as well as retain clients. Plus, it will help you to attract new ones too. So how can you ensure that you have got a winning team that best serves your salon business? The first step in creating a winning team is to focus on team morale. I recommend implementing regular team building activities like team lunches or team outings to create and maintain a bond between your team members and strengthen their relationships. Remember, a happy team is more likely to go above and beyond for your salon guests. You don't have to make these team building activities expensive, but you should be finding ways to get your team to work or socialize together and make sure that it's away from the salon floor, even if it's only every once in a while, so that they can just see who every person really is when they're not in work mode so they can learn to understand each other and understand where each other are coming from. Create a supportive culture within your salon. As a salon owner or manager, it is your job to create an atmosphere of support and encouragement. This doesn't have to come just from you. Encourage your team members to uplift and help each other. If you've got a bigger salon team, Try implementing a mentorship program where experienced team members can guide and mentor newer ones. This can help to create a sense of belonging. It can help build a strong team bond 
and it can help make sure that all of your team are carrying out their work in a way in which you want it to be done. Just beware of different personality types here. So you want to try and match up your experienced staff who are acting as your mentors with people who share a similar way of approach to make this as smooth sailing as possible. If you're carrying out thorough trade tests and interviews for each new team member, you'll get to learn a lot about their style of work and their approach so that you can find the best fit that will enhance their experience working within your salon. When we have any new starters begin with us in my salons, we implement a two week training period and we have got three senior members of staff who take it in turns to go through model days with them. We've got someone that goes through styling, we've got another one that goes through cutting and another that usually does the colouring. And this all plays into each of their strengths. We found this really helpful so that the new stylists that start with us can understand how we do things as a salon. And they also know what our clients expect of them during each of their visits. You should be making sure that you provide opportunities for growth. It is so important that you invest in your team's professional development by making sure that you offer them ongoing training and education. I know so many of the bigger colour houses, they all offer some type of free or discounted courses when you've got a certain spend with them on your colours and on your products. So you should be speaking with each of your team to see the areas that they would like to grow within and arrange the appropriate workshops, seminars or industry conferences to help them expand their skills and stay updated with the latest knowledge and trends. I know that we tend to do this twice a year during our six monthly reviews so that we can get a full picture as to what each of our team members wants to achieve. And then we also know that what the time frame is that they want to achieve it within as well. You can either send them off to learn outside of your salon space, or you can hire someone to come into your salon to do mass training with all of your staff. Remember that when you show your team that you're listening to them, and you care about their career path by committing to their growth, it not only boosts their morale, but it also enhances the overall quality of your services. And it can help your team to stay with your salon for much longer than they would do otherwise. So we've spoken about team morale. Now I want us to talk about how to get the most out of your salon team. This starts with clear communication. Clear communication in any type of relationship is key and managing your salon team is absolutely no different. When you set clear expectations early and throughout each of your team's employment, by clearly communicating your salon's goals, targets and performance expectations, as well as making sure that they all understand their individual roles and responsibilities, plus the collective goals of the salon. This clarity helps to align everyone's efforts towards one common objective. This means that they all will know where they stand and what you expect of them. Plus, your salon clients will also know exactly what to expect from each of your team members when they come in to visit, giving them the consistency that they are really looking for. I recommend scheduling regular feedback meetings to all of your team, where you or your manager can offer constructive feedback and praise to guide all of your team members' performance. When you start scheduling regular one-on-one -on -one meetings to discuss progress or address concerns and offer support, your feedback should always be specific, actionable, 
and focused on growth. Creating an environment where team members feel valued and empowered. You should allow for any questions or concerns that any of your team members have to also be brought up so that you can deal with them in a timely manner. Don't allow yourself to become defensive if your team members have got some negative feedback for you. Remember to listen to what they have to say and see their point of view, just like you are asking them to see your point of view. This is gonna to help to ensure that none of your staff members hold on to any feelings of confusion, anger, or upset and it will show them that you genuinely care about them. When your team feels supported and empowered, they will naturally give their best to your salon. Now, let's dive into the importance of teamwork and how you can create a team that collaborates within your salon for the ultimate success. To truly harness the power of teamwork, it's essential to get your team to work as a streamlined unit. You can do this by promoting open communication, not only between you and them, like I mentioned earlier, but also by establishing an environment where all of your team members feel comfortable expressing their thoughts and their ideas or concerns in front of one another. You can promote open communication within all of your team by booking out regular team meetings where everyone has a chance to contribute and to be heard. We tend to have these every six weeks in my salons and I know other salons make them every month. During these meetings, we emphasize the value of active listening and respectful communication among every single member of the team. Keep in mind that we don't all think the same way and your team meetings can be used as an opportunity to get your team's ideas about certain promotions or any systems and procedures that you have within your salon. By getting your team to contribute their ideas towards the running of your salon business will mean that they will be more likely to follow through with it without you having to constantly nag them to get them to do the things that you need them to do. To ensure that all of your team fully understand how your business is run, you should define everybody's roles and responsibilities. What I mean by this is that you should have a clear explanation for every single one of your team members' roles and responsibilities within your salon to avoid any confusion or overlap between different job titles. This can be from whose job it is to open up in the morning or to do a milk run, to knowing who is allowed to discipline which members of the staff or who can hold what type of training and for who. You want to make sure that you have got an efficient workflow that doesn't rely on you being there constantly and one that prevents unnecessary conflicts between your team members. You can do this by putting together job descriptions where people join your salon, they know exactly what their description is for their job. To create an honesty and transparency procedure so your team know what to do so they can look after your clients to the best of their ability. And you can hold regular check-ins to ensure that everyone understands their roles and that they can contribute effectively using their strengths. By doing this, you will help to create a sense of ownership among your team, which will encourage them to take responsibility of their work and the salon's overall success. Empower every single member of your team to make decisions and to contribute their ideas. When your team works together and has a sense of ownership, their collective energy and creativity can create magic within your salon. And each of them will be more likely to go above and beyond to deliver exceptional service, not only for your clients, but also for you. 
Now, let's discuss an exciting marketing strategy that can work wonders for attracting more clients, as well as enhancing your team morale. And that is by entering local as well as national competitions. Competitions provide an excellent opportunity to showcase your salon's talent and expertise to inf directly in front of your dream clients. When you start participating in any type of event or competition, it not only elevates your team's skills, but it also helps to put your salon in the spotlight within your local area. Winning awards and accolades is a powerful marketing tool which helps you to attract new clients who are looking for top quality services. So do some research, identify the relevant competitions within your area and encourage your team to participate in them. Remember that the team members you've got, they might be nervous because they might not have done this before. So don't force them into doing anything that they don't really want to do. I suggest looking for competitions that align with your salon's specialty and to attract more dream clients for you. Take a look at both local and national events and don't let the national ones scare you and just assume that you won't win so there's no point in entering. That's not the way to think about this. Simply research the criteria that they have and the individual categories that they've got on offer as well as their entry requirements and choose the competitions that provide the best opportunities for showcasing your salons and your team's talent. Once you've chosen the right competitions for you and your salon, prepare your team. Start by organizing practice sessions and mock competition scenarios. Provide the necessary training and resources so that you can enhance your team's skills and ensure they feel confident in the abilities of what they have. You want to set them up to win and encourage creativity and innovation to stand out from whoever else might be entering. And then, once you've put in the hard work, it's time to leverage the recognition. Winning or even participating in competitions can provide massive marketing opportunities. Showcase your achievements through social media, through your website, send out emails to your client database and get in touch with your local press. Highlight the skills and the expertise of each of your team members and emphasize the benefits that all of your clients and future clients can expect by choosing your salon. This recognition can attract new clients who value excellence and top quality services. So to summarize, here are the key takeaways from today's episode to help you start creating your winning team. Boost your team morale by recognizing and appreciating them. Create a supportive culture and provide growth opportunities at every single level. Get the most out of your team by using clear communication, setting expectations early on and providing relevant and constructive feedback, as well as investing in all of your team's continuous learning. Foster teamwork by promoting open communication between all of your staff. Define everybody's roles and responsibilities and encourage your team to have an ownership over their work. Leverage competitions to attract more clients by researching and choosing relevant events, preparing and training your team and leveraging the recognition gained from participating and hopefully winning. To help you some more with this, I have put together a free worksheet for you to sign up to and download that will help you to take all of the key takeaways from today's episode and put them into practice. Simply click the link below this podcast and you will find a link below every podcast that I do with a free worksheet attached that is designed to best help you. That's all I've got time for today, but I hope 
you have found this episode of the Salon Business Breakthrough Podcast helpful. Remember, creating a winning team is within your reach. And by implementing these strategies, you can take your salon business to the next level. Join me in the next episode where we'll be discussing, is your receptionist making you money? And how you can start getting them to do so. If you enjoyed today's podcast, make sure to subscribe to my... If you enjoyed today's podcast, make sure you subscribe and leave a review. Also, if you've got any questions about today's topic, or if you've got an idea for a future episode that will best help your salon business, send me an email to hello at besthairdressernearme.com. And I'll see you every Monday at 8am with a brand new episode. I'll speak to you soon.